today. So we're starting on the other side of this. I want to start documenting some more of how we did this side right here. Um, the first step we got to do is I have to mount, I made this little flange. This is actually like a elevator handrail, stainless elevator handrail and made a flange out of it. Welded on this schedule 40, uh, half inch diameter pipe. And, um, then I'm going to mount this to the turbo drain. I'm going to weld an AN fitting down here, wherever it goes. Um, so I got it laid out right here. I, I got to bust this little hole here. And I'm going to drop this down through the chassis. And uh, this is going to slide on here like this. This is going to be a pivot point. And so I'll bolt this guy down. I'll slide this on through. And then I'll bolt it to the turbo and then I'll position it where it needs to be right in here. And then I'll really, well, I'll tack it all off and all that good stuff. Nutsert this right here and bolt it down. That will give me the position and the turbo clock, like, you know, exactly where I need to. Um, and uh, so that's where we're at right now. I'm going to continue working on this guy and get it put into position. But. There's one way to do it. There's a, there's other methods to it, but this is the method that I come up with, and it seems to work pretty good. I've done it on a couple different vehicles already, and we haven't had any problems with it. So, but yeah, I figured I'd do a little video, and um, we don't have a lot of argon left, so it's not like we're gonna get a lot done. Anyways, I got to get a refill this week. So other than that, keep uh keep watching. I'll put a bunch more videos about how I do this stuff. I'll show you the end product too when it's finished. Peace out.